All right, good morning everyone. Tony from AZ Quad Riders. Here we are. Out with a new riding buddy, Big Mike. Say hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> so look at this beast. Now, Rich who are, I ride, Rich and Bill who are the other, the other, we have a riding team. We call ourselves Old, Older, and Oldest. Bill's a retired cop. Rich is retired. Bill's like, he's mid their upper 60s. Rich is now mid 60s and I'm 61. So we're all getting old. So uh, that's us, we're old, older, and oldest. We've got hats that say that. So they, both those guys have have two cylinders. I am the I am the baby with the one cylinder 450, which is really a 421 cubic cc. Um, but this is a different bike. I'm not used to seeing this. What? Tell us about this one and speak as loud as you can because it's kind of all right. All right. So what do we got here? This yeah. is a Chinese bike. Yeah, it's a CF Moto C4 600. Now wait a minute. Because it's Chinese, does that mean after you ride it an hour later, you want to ride it again? You want to ride it again. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, and it's a touring model, so right now I don't have the, the passenger seat on there, but you can actually put a passenger seat. With okay, the, uh, yeah. Hand holds. Um, let's see. It's, uh, it's a 600. Is it a two-cylinder? No, I think it's a one. Really? It could be a two. I, I bet it's I a two. Really, didn't even, you know, didn't matter to me, but... Uh, and what made you look into this guy? I mean, I was going to call it a rice burner, but what the hell, they're all rice burners. <laughs> the price point was the number one thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, like the, with that, I like the trunk back here. Yeah. But uh, their price point was much better than all the other models out Some, there. Someone's uh, rather gifted back here. That's right. And, <laughs> price uh, point was good, okay. Yep, yeah, price point was good, and the thing is, is that they have a long history. Even though they haven't been making the quads for, let's say, forever, they've been in business with KTM since 1989 they actually own over half of uh, KTM and they've been producing parts not only for other quads like Polaris and, uh, and the KTM's but then they decided to start getting into the market themselves there's so, definitely a market huh oh yeah absolutely everything on here stock did you order anything separate like I like the hand nope. things that this is all stock when you ride during the winter time these are sweet yep. Bill has those I'm too damn cheap 100% bone stock. This is a what, 21 or 22? 22. 22, my God. How many miles you got on her now? Uh, Maybe, about. 10. Wow. So she is, more break in miles. She's almost, a, she's almost, uh, almost virgin-like. So is. we are at, we are at Sycamore Creek in the first parking lot. Sycamore Creek's down the under that way. We're going to just ride the main drag into Sycamore Creek. It's about four miles, five miles to the actual creek. And then we'll, we'll piss around and, and we'll drive the sand, maybe a little hill climbing. So we got a winch on the front too. Is that stock winch or did you put yeah, that separate? Came, uh, stock on the bike. That's the one thing also about CF Motos. All comes stock. 3,000 pound front winch. Well, it looks heavy duty as hell, man. The whole thing does. Yeah, it is. She good looking bike, no doubt about it. It's big, big and tall. I mean, mine, mine's a baby. I bought mine mainly as a hunting rig. I find I ride more than I hunt with it. The older I get, but I have my gun rack on the front, and that's my coyote killer. I get back way deep and take out my coyotes with them. Um, yeah, man, it's sharp looking. Okay, we're gonna wind this part up, and uh, we'll get on the road, and and we'll uh, have some fun. Signing off for now. You know what they say, all, all uh, drains lead to the ocean and uh, finding Nemo, pretty much. I need four wheel for this thing. Um, I put it in four wheel drive to the sand, yeah. But you know, it, you, it, the difference is if you put it in four wheel drive, you're on top of it. If you put it in two wheel drive, you're pushing through it and you'll, you'll feel the difference. You're making the thing work more, you know? Yeah, that's the thing though, is I know that when I'm in full, you know, full uh, four wheel, then it's like obviously the, you know, speed will get reduced, but. Yeah, there's nothing out here that can't be done in these vehicles here. Yep. Okay, so once again, we are at Sycamore Creek on Mike's first ride with old, older and oldest. Fortunately, it's just old today. And I'm feeling it more and more every day. That sounds good, man. That sounds badass. All right, we're just gonna run the mount, uh, run the, the wash here a little bit, and see how we do.
looks good, looks good. Scoping out Mike's bikes. It's actually pretty nice. I don't know anything about Chinese motorcycles or Chinese anything other than Chinese food, of course. Except everything I buy is from fucking China. But I didn't say that. Did I say that? I didn't say that. Can't help it. But as far as quads, I've never seen one. I've only seen the jab bikes, and of course, that's what everybody rides, and they're great. Kawasaki's, Hondas, Can Ams. CF Moto, just don't know anything about a CF Moto. But I'll look them up. I will YouTube them. I'm sure they're nice. The suspension seems to be really good. I mean, I'm watching it absorb everything. We've been riding pretty smooth. All these new ones are independent, so sweet. Even the Ching Li. You up for this? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so when I do it, just stay on the power. You'll have no issue in high gear. Yeah, I'm already in, uh, actually on the low, four-wheel low, so I should have no problem. No, you won't have any problem. Uh, and just just go up it, and then it levels off. I'll, I'll follow me. I'll meet you at the top, and then it kind of levels. Just stay on the main road. It goes a little bit further past, and it opens up into a little spot. You'll see me, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Good job, Mike. Good job. Cool, huh? Yeah. This time you go. I'm gonna get some video of you. All right. So same route, same exact everything, and same yeah. everything. Stay on the one to the left going up. Yeah, stay. It's like a big old fucking uh, yeah. big old, like whoopee thingy there. To be careful for the dips and watch for things coming the other way. There's all these things lead all over the place, so watch for other bikes, but there's very few people out here, so we're okay. Yeah. All right, man, I'll be right behind you. 
Don't stop. Nice job, Mike, nice job. Sweet. Okay. All right. So here we are. AZ Quad Riders. Once again. So we just finished up. We are back. It's windy. It's crazy. We're back from our 20 mile ish, 18 mile an hour, something like that ride on the brand new C Force, CF Force. Mine is a rice burner. Yours is a fried rice burner, by the way, just so you know. This one's Chinese. <laughs> They're all rice burners, man, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so. That's why I say they're right. They're all rice burners. This is Chinese. That makes it a fried rice. <laughs> okay. So anyway, how'd you how'd it go? How'd it ran good. From what I saw, it ran good. It was yeah, solid. You breaking it in? Yep. You went up all the hills that I went. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So all in all, first ride, you're feeling good. Feeling really good. All right. We're gonna have to do it again. That's it. Tony from Easy Quad Riders signing off. See you next time. Say goodbye, Mike. Goodbye, Mike. <laughs>